live and late. <laughs> All right, everyone. Happy Sunday. Thank you so very much for joining Junior 8615. And I am best back with the best of 2024. This is going to be the best of Dooney and Burke. So uh, let's dive right in. Uh, the first is that I think I've done one of these every single year and I get um, excited when I think back about the bags that have been like the go-to's for me during the course of each year. Um, I think some of these bags will not surprise you um, and then there will be others that I think will be, I don't know, standouts. Maybe they'll surprise you because they surprised me. Um, I guess let me start also by saying that just because something makes the best of 2023 does not mean that it was necessarily a bag that was purchased in 2023. It's just that it rose to the occasion, got a lot of use, captured my attention all over again during the course of the year. I do have uh, 10 bags outlined. I will do accessories in a different video, but it was just a little bit of a labor of love to try to pull, corral all of these things um, back together uh, for this roundup tonight. So uh, I have glasses on. I'm going to try to keep up with the chat. I hope that you will interact with each other. I would love to see in the chat early on uh, which bags, I've got 10, did you, uh, 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 yeah, 10, um, I would love to see you drop in the comments bags that you believe will make my best of 2023 list. Um, I would also like to know in the chat or if you're watching on the replay in the comments, um, what is one of your best of 2023 carries? All right, so we're going to just go ahead, dive right in. Please hit the thumbs up. I hope that you will all interact with each other as we close out 2023 and roll into 2024. Um, let's dive in because the very first bag should not come as a surprise to anyone. My very first bag, so number 10, and it's not number 10 because it's low, it's not number 10 because um, it is the least of these, it is, it is number 10 because y'all have heard me talk about this bag, carry this bag, complain about this bag, buy this bag, recommend this bag, get the bag in different sizes, different colors, over and over and over and over again, not just in 2023. I'm sure it was on the list in 22 and 21 and 20. Uh, can you guess what bag it is? It is none other than Dooney and Burke's Florentine Medium Russell. I moved into this mauve color and it got me in a chokehold. I could not move out of it. The color as I traveled and moved about, it got so many compliments. I love the accessories that I carried in this one. This is like a workhorse when it comes to travel and carrying all of the things. This bag in general because this year I carried not only the mauve color but I carried I traveled with the large red one I cleaned it up carried it again loved it pulled out and carried the small Russell in natural and also pulled out the medium Russell in natural and carried it to work and then traveled with it as well. I know I complain a lot about the shoulder drop on this one because the large shoulder drop just has a much more generous uh, spacing, but this medium Russell is one that 
I would not want to not have in my collection. And I'm not talking about the specific color because the, the color was it for this year. But this bag silhouette in general is just one that I have had for years. And I reach for it over and over and over again. Wish the shoulder drop again was different, but everything else about this bag is absolutely amazing. From the Florentine leather that you cannot heal, to the reinforced feet under the bottom, the back zipper pocket, the interior organization and the lining, the leather hang tad tag. It has snaps across the top for closure. I probably should clean that out, but it's proof that I've lived in this bag this year. The key leash, all of the, or it holds all of the things. It fits under an airplane seat. It is a great sidekick on the front passenger seat. It sits amazing in the back seat, on the floorboard, on the back seat. She straps in nicely when I feel like I need to put the seat belt over this bag is amazing and I know, I know for a fact that when I, can, I have been in rooms where people have been carrying bags that cost totes, that cost um, more than this one, the ones that have a one and a comma or a two and a comma in front. And people will still ask me about my Dooney and Burke because you cannot beat the leather and the craftsmanship. It will go head to head, toe to toe with any bag out there from any brand house. And I'm going to apologize. I've got my nephew in the background doing a project for me. So if you hear noises, it's him. All right. So number 10, 2023, best of is the Dunienberg Florentine Medium Russell. All right, I probably need to get this one cleaned up just a smidgen and uh, get it ready because the spring is coming again. All right, so that is number one or number 10. Number nine, any guesses on number nine? Any guesses in the chat? This one is a... Dooney Attic Tribe fan favorite. It is like the, um, this is the Bag Band Island bag. This is the, is Dooney going to ever bring it back in other colors and other silhouettes? It is the, it will travel. It has the amazing shoulder drop. It is the, it will hold everything and, again, give serious, serious competition to any other tote in any other brand's arsenal. And it is none other than the Dooney & Burke Leisure Shopper. It is a go-to for the tribe because it is amazing. Not only did I carry it this year in Greta and had to force myself out of it, but then when I did force myself out, I moved into the Safiano version of the Leisure Shopper that has the, the corner pieces. And then I lived in it and had to force myself out of it to move into something else. There is a reason that this bag makes it on the top 10, the desert island, the bag band. If I had to start my collection, uh, bag essentials, if you're starting a collection, you cannot go through those videos and not find multiple people talking about the leisure shopping. It is, there is a small version of the Leisure Shopper known as the Charleston for the small bag lovers. Then for, for everyone else, there is the Big Mama, which is the regular Leisure Shopper. But there is also a small Leisure Shopper. It comes in coated canvas. It has been produced in Florentine. It has been uh, in Safiano. 
It has been in, is there, a, do I have a pebble? No. There is not a pebble version. So, Peter. <laughs> Peter, can we get the Florentine back? And can we get the Leisure Shopper in pebble? Because I don't think I have any. Ladies, am I overlooking pebbled leather in the Leisure Shopper? I don't know that it's a thing. I'm thinking... And I'm looking around trying to, I don't see one. I think we need that. I think we need that in 2024. Leisure Shopper. Amazing shoulder drop. Feet under the bottom. No outside pocket, but she doesn't need it because she holds all of the things in the interior. It has the SDS, the red cotton twill lining it has your key keeper and this one actually still has stuff in it because i was just in it two weeks ago so i am going to sit her over to the side because she is very likely to get moved back into because she's still holding so many of my things yeah i don't think there's been a pe pebbled um version but i think we need that since uh, we can't seem to get any of the others, so let's give it a new twist in Pebble. All right, so we're going to switch gears just a little bit. It's all Dooney and Burke, but here's the thing. The next one, two, three, I have four bags that are in the alto collection so i almost feel like i need to rename this instead of the best of 2023 it needs to be the best of Dooney and burke's alto collection because alto was on fire this year i um have a note for another video to talk about some of the best deals that i picked up in 2023 and there were a few Alto deals that could not be beat. Like, it, some of them were so good that if you were on the fence or kind of hemming and hawing between whether or not you wanted to add Alto or give it a try, it was at the try me now price. So let's talk about number eight on the list. Number eight, I learned my lesson because it didn't pick the red up first and therefore I have two of these in my collection but once I did get the red oh, once I did get the red it was a wrap and that is the Alto Aria because this bag is Stunning by itself, but when you throw in this strap that is detachable that can be used on so many other bags, it just increases in value and usage because I will probably wear the strap out before I wear the bag out because of the number of red bags that I have. It is absolutely stunning. Now, this is not a bag that is going to carry the same capacity of a Russell or a Leisure. It's not intended for that. And I know for this to be number eight on the list and for it to be a small bag, you all are probably just wondering like what happened? <laughs> what happened with DA this year because it's small bags? I, I, I will agree with you. This bag though is absolute perfection and the pricing of it was perfection. It is not going to carry a lot. You do have to think about what you are going to carry when you reach for this bag. But it will turn heads. It is going to get questions. It is going to get compliments. You are going to look amazing with whatever you are wearing if you are carrying this bag. But you do have to make decisions about what you are going to carry in it because it is not going to carry everything trust from someone that carries the, the the kitchen sink 
the garage, the toy chest, the cleaning closet. Like I have all of that in my tote and I have decisions to make every time I reach for this bag. Easy in, easy out. You do not have to keep the strap on it for it to make a statement. It is perfect, ladylike, dainty, carry, tabletop friendly. But if you do decide to wear it with the strap, it is a strap that says, you know what? You're going to have to talk about me too. You can't just talk about the bag. You're not going to just talk about her curves. You're going to talk about this braided detail on this strap as well. You're going to talk about the thickness of this leather. You're going to talk about the craftsmanship because the strap in itself is a work of art all on its own. And that is why Arietta made the best of 2023 list as a number eight. I should, or you know what? I need a, I need a home for this one. But until we get through the list, I'm going to put it back in the bag and the dust cover. I know that there were um, a few different colors. I got it in saddle and in the red, of course. I'm glad that I picked it up. I wish that I had picked it up in one more color and we'll be stalking to see if it reappears in the color and at a great deal. All right, here we go again with Alto. Let me get this one put over here so that I can keep some, some organization to what's next. All right, another Alto purchase. This was not a purchase this year. Um, it was an actual birthday bag purchase, 12 days of dooming purchase. And then it's amazing. This one was available in suede. I, for some reason, I looked at the suede, but I was at that point still hemming and hawing, teetering and tottering on whether or not I wanted to add suede in my collection. Is How is it going to wear? Is it going to be high maintenance. So I just decided, you know what? It's available in two different uh, leathers. Let me skip the suede and I will go with the regular Alto leather. And I'm glad that I did because Xena, this one right here is a big girl. She holds all of the things. So while when I reach for Arietta, I have decisions to make. Uh, when I am carrying Xena, all of the things get moved over and get included. This bag at the airport, the doctor's office, brunch, business meetings, worship, it does not matter. This bag says, I came to do business, right? It is, it is. The epitome of I have good taste, I know good leather, I know craftsmanship. It is, I don't want to look like everybody else that's walking around Target or Walmart or Nordstrom. I am going to look different. It is a statement piece all on its own. And this bag is amazing. I'm glad that I picked it up when I did. My only regret is that I only got one. Beat myself up that I only got one. It is getting a little bit of a uh, patina. You can see where it's getting some of those shiny spots from usage. You can see where the leather is starting to soften just a little bit. I've got some... Uh, dings there which you cannot buff out of alto leather so you either embrace it and wear it and love it and you know give it its own character or you steer clear of it because it is not going to stay pristine if you use it um without caution so i'll, I'll just say that this bag has amazing detail like the leather folds and it's the it is it is amazing it has plenty of organization it comes with a shoulder strap that can attach via the d-rings i don't think i've ever used it with the strap 
It has two big outside snap pockets that each have its own organization and then it has a center zip that is not the typical center zip that is disrupted to the interior of the bag. It holds all of the things and I have managed to come to grips with the fact that if it is going to go travel with me and it has on a plane that I can get it under the seat without completely destroying the top handles. Now, you can tell that this handle is, it's, it's getting broken in. It's, it's breaking in, but it is amazing. Um, yes, it comes in two different sizes, or did it did come in two different sizes. This, of course, is the larger version. It does have the clochette there. Again, gold hardware. It has the Dooney and Burke engraved into the zipper pulls. Five feet under the bottom. Again, you can see that as it's aging, it's developing a little bit of a sheen or patina to it. This bag is it's a dream because I have not seen anything else that has this level of detail. Now, I think it is the Alto Callista. It has a little, um, it has it has a nice shape or definition to it, but it just does not have the leather detailing that Xena has. This is a boss bag, absolutely a boss bag. All right. And that is number seven on my best of 2023. Okay, we're still in Alto. And this bag, I was caught off guard by this bag. And even more off guard once I started using it because it... It traveled well it traveled often I reached for it and I came back and I shared it with you and right now I had to dig out another one because I didn't want to dig out the one that's currently in my luggage uh, let me where did it go here we go Alto for the win this year. Uh, before Xena, it was Arietta, the Leisure Shopper, and the Medium Russell. So, <laughs> y'all, Aria, oh my goodness. The Saddle color and this red have been in and out and in and out of bags, in and out of my luggage, in and out of my backpack. The chain right now is with the saddle one because it's the one that I just used last week. I did not expect that this little bitty bag was going to become one of my besties in 2023. Amazing price, alto detail and leathering. It has all of the amazing stitch work and detail. It's got lines and, you know, curves. I mean, that is something that the alto leather is known for. But being able to pack this and be on the go, lightweight, adding the chain strap to it. It has a leather one that comes with it. But as you know, I used a leather, um, I kept the leather on and then added a gold chain strap so that I could use it shoulder and crossbody. If you missed out, I'm sorry. I hope it comes back in. I was surprised at what I could get in here. It is a decision bag, but when I reach for it, the decision is basically already made. It is... Cars, ca cards, keys, lippy, phone, hotel key. That's 
that's it. That it will hold all of that, and it has it has just worked. For a minute, I actually had it packed and over inside of my tote so that it was a grab and go piece as well. Didn't see this as a grab and go when I got it. Never envisioned that it would be a grab and go piece, but it is amazing. It has not converted me to a small bag girl. Remember I said it was over inside a tote, but for lunch runs, after work, brunch, to the movies, running out to get food. Um, it, it's, I, I, I needed it for a dentist appointment. It, I, I got all the little things that I needed and out the door I was able to go. So I love it. I love it. So Alto for the win this year. I think there was one color that I did not pick up two there's a blue and then there's of course a pink I did not go back and get those I played around with them in my cart and never pulled the trigger so they are back on my list to uh, pick up for next year all right so here's the next one this one surprised me as well because um you know, I had declared that I am not a grab-and-go girl. That it just did not make sense for me to have a bag with a bag in the inside. So I got to open my bag to go in my bag to get another bag to open that little bag to get my wallet or card or keys out to do all of that in reverse in order to be able to get it all back together to go. So I was not expecting that this bag was going to uh, be that for me. Where, where, did, where did you go? Bags are slipping and sliding around. Okay, is this it? This is it. Okay, this bag has been all up and down the East Coast. This bag went with me to Vegas. This bag was my Christmas carry for this year. And it's a small bag. It was one of the doorbuster deals for last year during the holiday season. I picked up as many colors as I possibly could. I have gifted this bag as well and Every time I go into the outlet stores, I am looking for the color that I missed out on, which was Ecru, because I waited too long to pull the trigger. We have left the land of Alto, and we have gone back to Florentine, and I am now talking about the Florentine Lizzie. Don't she look like she's seen better days? <laughs> Y'all, Lizzie is sick of me, and I am in love with her. She is like, put me down. Didn't you buy some other colors? Can the other ones not go? Can I get a PTO day? Like, for, like, this is from, this receipt is from the restaurant that I ate at on my birthday in Vegas. This one right here, poor little thing. She's going to need resuscitation and she's going to need a cleaning job. She is amazing. She holds more, of course, than Aria. She will fit inside of Xena in the leisure in Russell. She has been inside the shop, leisure shopper. She has been inside the medium Russell. She has stood on her own as a small bag. She has served as grab and go. She has been the date night bag. It, I know she wants me to put her down. I know she wants me to pick up a different color and use it. But red's my favorite color and I have not been able to put this one down. So it was an amazing price. 
it holds all of the necessary things and I was kind of hoping that this year there might have been something similar in Florentine as a as a door buster deal but I didn't see anything this year in the door busters that I felt was um this ver the version of this this year and by that I mean the leather the deal the size this this was this was like one of the best deals for last year and an amazing carry for this year so that's it for that one all right where do we go next next we are going back to alto this was also an amazing uh i'm pretty sure this was a glitch deal because it never got even close to this price again after several purchases were made It, it must be something this year with all of the short names like Arietta, Zena, Aria, Lizzie, Ella. Because the little bags with the little names packed major punches for me this year. Now, this was the bag that made me say I'm not a grab and go girl. Because I, I, I was digging in a bag to dig out a bag to dig in a bag to get. It was just too much. But to carry as a separate bag so that I can, after work not, you know, run around different places with my big tote, these smaller bags have delivered this year. And I do not feel like any one of them, um, I don't feel like I struggled with any one of them to get the essentials in. Now, of course, this one has a little bit more butt than um, Aria, so it's definitely going to hold more, but I, again, can get the essentials in here. This bag has definitely, it's showing some wear. Poor baby. I need to get her cleaned up. She's got some patina. She's got some marks and some love because she has, she has not been back in her dust cover um, since, since she was revealed on this channel. That's how much she has been out and about and making moves. She has not been back in her dust cover because she st has stayed in rotation. And if I know that I have like more things that I'm going to need... I have traveled with both Ella and with Aria. Too much? I don't think so. This was a great price. If you missed out on this one, again, I'm sorry. I do try to post the deals. I try to make sure that the affiliate links are easily accessible so that you can get to them quickly because some of them were glitch deals. I know that for sure. Um, but this was an amazing one. This was, I'm glad that I got it when I got it and was able to use it when I did, which was in 2023. All right, so we are moving on through the list. We have talked about Lizzie. We have talked about Ella. Now let's go back to Florentine. All right. This bag earned a permanent forever bag status in my collection this year. It should not have been able to endure the great last frontier. <laughs> but this bag was perfect in Alaska. I did not expect for it to hold all of the things that it did, but it did. Now, the last time you saw this bag, it looked a hot behind mess because she had been through all of the things. She, she had a she had a rough 
ride just getting from the house to the airport, let alone the dropping around Alaska. I have since cleaned her and she looks better to me. She is softer. I actually filmed the, re the cleaning of this, but I haven't been able to really edit the video the way that I want to. I've edited it, edited, edited the video a couple of times, but it is still not where, what I want it to be and I may have to just kind of give it up and just post it but Dottie this is not regular Dottie this is the large Dottie full-size wallet shoulder crossbody it it held cosmetics it held oh this bag I listen I did go back and I bought another color in this bag. I don't think I've shared it yet and it's not close. But I went back and after coming back from Alaska, I bought this bag in another color. So now I have, I think it's four, four of these. And this one will forever be in my collection. It has definitely softened. I know this still kind of looks bad right here, but it is so much better than it was the last time you saw it. And the leather is just getting better and better and better. It has an amazing patina. It has definitely gotten deeper, darker, richer. You can see where, you know, it's had some wear. The patina is definitely deeper in some places. But I did get that bottom cleaned up pretty good. I think so, Lord. Oh, this bag was great. It should not have had all of the things in it that it did when I carried it. But if you recall, I was running late, like super late, leaving the house trying to get to the airport for my flight. And ended up not being able to downsize the accessories that I was planning to use for vacation. Which made this bag even better because I thought I was going to need to downsize in order to make it work. I didn't have to and it still carried amazing. This bag has been in and out of the rain. And do you see any water spots? Any water spots anywhere? Water spots? What you see there in the front is actually grease. It's not water. Again, patina, grease, not water. Not a single rain spot. Because cows don't live in houses. They don't have umbrellas and ponchos and... Uh, all of those other things that keep rain off of their hides. And this leather responds the same way. If you just leave it alone, it will dry. I've got videos of, I think, this bag. Um, the Tulip Shopper, which is an honorable mention for this year because that was a great carry. Red Tape Fiasco and all about the Red Tulip Shopper, Florentine Tulip Shopper. I'll add it as a honorable mention for this year. But none of those bags that were the Hey Y'all Watch This series, <laughs> know that song, Hey Y'all Watch This. No rain spots on any, on any of the bags that were included in that series. And this one is amazing. Added another one. Um, I think I have all of the colors that I want now in this one. But if Dooney ever brings it back with a new or different pop of color, then I will probably swing, you know, may add for another. As I said in the last video, I'm trying to not buy another bags just before a different color. But this one, I, I, would, I would make an exception. I would make an exception for this one. But that is Large Dottie. All right, the next one. Was another small bag was not on my radar. 
have looked at it and said, I don't need that. I have the large version of that bag. I don't need that. I have the leather strap version of that bag. I don't need that. The other bag that I have, I've had in my collection for years. I've got it in a few different colors. It travels well. I don't need a new version of that bag. But I could not have been more wrong. And the Ellie made her introduction into my collection. So this bag was gifted to me by the Dooney and Burke team when I became a Dooney affiliate. I had looked at this bag and then said, nope, I don't need it. It's a smaller version of the older saddle bag that I have. This bag has a web strap. The other one has leather. The other one is larger. I was like, I just, I don't, I don't need it. This is another bag that has not been back in the dust cover since I got it because weekends, travel, farmer's market, drugstore, pizza, movies, you name it. And I'm like, oh, let me let me grab my stuff. I'll, I'll throw it in Ellie. Oh, well, you know what? I already got my stuff in Ellie. I won't switch out. It, it, it will work with my outfit. I did not think that I was going to enjoy this bag because of the web strap. And I will say that 90% of the reason that I love this bag is because of the strap. It is so comfortable. It does not slide and move around. The adjustment, once you lock it in place, it is not moving. So if you want it longer, once you set it, it's there. If you have a shorter to torso or you want to use it as a short shoulder bag, this bag works. It is also, as you can tell, it's got some love marks on it. And she has definitely gotten a patina from her usage. She is darker than she was when I revealed her. Yeah, she's been in the rain too. I don't know that I filmed that though. Back snap pocket, easy in, easy out, adjustable web strap. No feet because this is intended to be a crossbody bag, but it is also adjustable to a short shoulder bag or a long shoulder bag if that's what you would prefer. It has double snap magnetic closures on the front, two generous size pockets for a crossbody. It has. Um, the standard Dooney setup for small crossbody, front slip, back zip. It also has the key keeper, tons of organization. Jeans, dresses, lunches, churches. This bag does not care where you are trying to go. It will roll with you. And the web strap, it does. It does give it a more relaxed or casual vibe, um, but if you're in your Spanx Air Essentials jogger set, this works. If you're in jeans and a button down, this works. If you're in slacks and a nice blouse, I've had it on with that as well. This bag is amazing and while i taken it off of my radar screen because, again, I have the first version or the OG version of the saddlebag. I'm so glad that I did have get this one. And I, even though this one was gifted, I did go back with my own money and purchase uh, a couple of other colors in this bag. It does have the Dooney and Burke etched in the hardware. Not all of the Florentine bags have that but this one has that detailing and then it has the fur de lis stamp in the back to let you know that it is Italian Florentine leather. Leather um, hang tag which can be removed. You can use this on actual luggage if you would like. If you just don't want to hang it on the bag. If you want to move it and put it on a different bag. You have all of those options with this one and then the amazing um, branding here on the front.
amazing bag. All right. We are at number one. Um, this bag, um, <laughs> let, okay, so I am currently carrying the large version of this bag. It went with me to Vegas too. I consolidated enough so that I could um, add Lizzie in. I took out the stuff that I did not need because I was not going to work and went with it. Um, it is not Alto. It is not Florentine. It does have leather straps. But it is... Roberta Pieri's Tutami. And this one is in the color taupe. I am literally right now still in the red one. I moved into the red one to go to Vegas, which was, um, when, what day did I leave to go to Vegas? On the 7th? No, the on the red eye on the 6th. And I have been in it. I carried it through the holidays. Again, I had Lizzie. I was not expecting to fall in love with nylon that I continued. I moved, I, I did the review of this bag. Then the red one came in and I moved out of this one into that one. Carried that one, moved out of it, moved back into this one. Carried a couple of other bags and then moved back into the red version of this. It is an easy carry. It is lightweight. So when I add all of the weight of all of the other stuff that I have to travel with, this bag is able to endure it. I love the fact that it is this light suede lining so it is not sagging when I have it weighed down it has a key keeper key leash so I'm not fumbling looking for my keys it has a great organization I just I was not I was not expecting this bag I know that there are a lot of people in the community that have Longchamp. I have looked at Longchamp. I have considered Longchamp. I, everything nylon for me gets compared back to Dooney's OG nylon. And I don't think anything compares to that. Except this, because this is like Dooney's OG nylon with a suede backing. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill these bags. And I think I'm trying because I said earlier today when I got off alive, I said, okay, DA, you need to go move out of that bag so that you can bring it in and show like both bags. You got it as number one for this year. You sh And I was like, they know what it looks like. I'm not taking my stuff out of that bag because I got errands to run tomorrow and next week. And guess who I'm going to be running them with? This taupe color is neutral. It is gorgeous. I've gotten people to ask about this bag. I literally have had people at work to say, Oh my goodness, that is a really nice bag. I have had some of the gentlemen to say, hey, did you take a trip to Italy this year? And I was like, no, I didn't. And I'm like, really nice bag. This, if you were sleeping on it, if you were considering it, um, I was not a nylon user in cold weather months. And I had an amazing... Uh,
subscriber, amazing tribe sister that challenged my thinking around nylon. Because to me, nylon, lightweight, easy carry, it's a spring summer. And she said, yep, it is. But I actually, this, this was the subscriber, she said, I actually use mine in the wintertime because the salt, the snow, the puffy coat, like I'm already layered and carrying, you know, all of this extra stuff to try to stay warm. I don't want to have to fuss and fight with a heavy leather bag on top of it. So she uses her nylon fall winter. Had she not challenged me, I probably would have never reached for this in this in, in this time of year because that was just how I've used my bag. But this is amazing. The shoulder drop, empty shoulder drop. It, but once you get your things in and it gets weighed down, it is absolutely perfect. It does not sag. The organization works. I don't have to fumble for my keys. It has great accessories that you can um, I actually have the red what the red cosmetic here because I'm using the large one right now in the red bag but this one is the red small cosmetic that I picked up it add mix and match because I have <laughs> because I need to get the accessories to go with this one but y'all know I'll put red with anything and everything it is not, I don't think this one has yet to be included in any of the Dooney promo sales. Unlike Henry's, which is currently included in the 30% off. So again, I'll say, if you haven't picked up anything from Henry's, uh, maybe figure out if you're going to have FOMO. And if you think you will, you should probably start narrowing down what your purchase will be because things are selling out. This has not been on sale. I don't know that it will go on sale. It has been excluded from promotions. And while it is not leather, I will say that I have definitely enjoyed the carry this year. I am not mad about the money that I paid as my stuff sits comfortably in it. I literally ran out, grabbed food, took the entire bag with me, took... Took, took the whole thing with me. Everything fit. Great on the front seat. Red, neutral. I will likely find another color because there is a floral print in a color that has my attention. And now that I have both sizes, both versions of the bag, and I know that both of them will work for me, both of them will carry my full carry, I am going to spring for one of the floral uh, bag sets with the accessories. So that's it. That is my best of 2023 for Dooney and Burke as it relates to bags. The majority of the list again is Alto and Florentine. But the number one for me for this year is absolutely this nylon. It has not given me any rips, any tears. It has not caused any issues in the rain. I have not been in any snow or anything so far. Uh, but I do not anticipate that I'm going to have issues with this bag. It, I have not had things to like get wet or soak through. Water, I'm not noticing any smells, no discoloration, no issues with the stitch work. The Y'all know I carry everything. It fits, it zips, it does not have um, feet under the bottom, either version. But again, the bottom is reinforced and you can tell it's not dirty. It's not dirty and I have been in and out. So this actually surprised me. I did, I, I um, Started at the beginning of the year, just kind of jotting down the things that I was using and carrying. If it was a good carry or if it was like, you have got to move out of that bag. It's like, one more week. I'm, I'm just going to do it one more week. Or it's working. And then if I carried it multiples, if I continued to reach for it, I did not carry any 
Did I carry anything from coach this year? I carried coach accessories. But I don't think I reached for a coach bag this year. I didn't carry... No, I did. I did carry my MCM medium Liz in black for a week. And then I moved out of it and moved into um, my, my leisure shopper, my Greta leisure shopper. Um, I carried Tory Burch. Uh, I carried a Ella. Well, I think it's called the Black Rose one that I got for my birthday. I carried it two weekends, if I remember from my list. And something else from Tory I carried this year. But it has definitely been a Dooney year. It has definitely been Alto Florentine. But again, once I moved in, I was like, I'm not, I don't, I don't need to move out. I have the accessories. It works. It it fits on the plane. It 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 had all of my stuff. When I needed to consolidate, I would just clean it out and it would work. When I needed to add other stuff in, like um, when it came time to, when I was in Connecticut, I was in, I think like Florida the week before. And then the next week I needed like hat, gloves, scarves cause I was in Connecticut. I just added it into the bag. No problem. When I got back, I was heading somewhere where it was a little bit warmer, took that stuff out, threw in like sunglasses, different pair of readers, um, uh, some, some other things, um, I threw in my, what was it? What was I reading? Oh, Black Cake. Um, a book fit in with no issues. Um, I had some um, contracts and stuff that I was looking over. All, all of it fit in the bag. It zipped. No problem. Traveled with it. Got back home. Cleaned out what I didn't need for the next week. Nowhere on either version, light carry, super pleased with every, every single use of these bags this year. So, Russell, Leisure, Arietta, Zena, Aria, Lizzie, Ella, Dottie, Ellie, and number one. It's something about the short names in the little bags this year that rock 2023. I cannot wait to see what will make the best of 2024. I hope that you all have an amazing rest of the night. I hope that if 2023 did not deliver the things that you were hoping for, praying for, working for, that all of those things will manifest and come to pass in 2024. I thank you for your support. I thank you for um, your friendship. I thank you for using the affiliate link. I thank you for texting me and calling me and checking in on me and making sure that I don't miss a sale or a deal. I appreciate you valuing my opinion um, in this Dooney space, it has been an amazing, crazy, emotional, stressful, peaceful, calm journey because it's been all of those things in 2023. And I imagine 2024, if it continues to be the thing we call life, will live up to those things as well. You have been absolutely amazing. I could not do this without each and every one of you. I would not want to do this without you. You have been an amazing, amazing group of tribe sisters. The, the word community doesn't even, it doesn't even scratch the surface of what we have developed here in this space. So I thank you. I wish you all a very happy new year. 
I hope that 2024 is amazing. I cannot wait to share with you um, my continuation of birthday purchases. Um, but until next time, Happy New Year. And I do hope you find something that feeds your addiction. Take care, everyone.